question. Uh, I was pleased to hear you disavow and denounce Operation Rescue in response to my last question. I want to ask uh, about a couple of other groups and individuals. In 2003, uh, at an event called Restoration Weekend, you gave a speech praising a man named David Horowitz as a man, quote, a man I admire. Uh, David Horowitz has said, among other things, that, quote, all the major Muslim organizations in America are connected to the Muslim Brotherhood and, quote, 80 percent of the mosques are filled with hate against Jews and Americans. He's also made a number of statements about African Americans, as in, quote, too many blacks are in prison because too many blacks commit crimes. You praised him as a man I admire. That statement was omitted from your response to the committee. Did you omit it because you were embarrassed about praising David Horowitz? No, and I didn't know David Horowitz had made those uh, comments. Uh, I read um, his brilliant book, what's the name of it? I have a hard time remembering. But it was uh, his transformation, having grown up in a, um, as he described it, communist family. He was editor of Ramparts magazine, the Radical magazine. And uh, I believe Radical Son was the name of his book. Uh, and it was a really powerful and moving story of how he moved from uh, the unprincipled totalitarian uh, radical left uh, to uh, a more traditional American uh, person. I've written a it. number of other books that um, I've read, I think, one of them. Uh, but he's a most brilliant individual uh, and has a remarkable story. I'm not aware of everything he's ever said or well, no. these statements have been reported publicly repeatedly over many years. You first came to know him in 2003. In fact, you received an award from the David Horowitz Freedom Center in 2014. You were unaware of any of the apparently racist uh, comments that he made? Over I'm not aware of those comments, and I don't believe David Horowitz is a racist or a person that wouldn't treat anyone uh, improperly, at least uh, uh, to my knowledge. Well, let, and let he me did just give me the award he gave me was um, the Annie something Johnson Award, and that was the lady that went over Niagara Falls in a barrel. That's the award that I received. Let, let me ask you about uh, another group, uh, which uh, also you left out of your questionnaire. Uh, a group that the Southern Poverty Law Center cited earlier by Senator Cruz listed as a hate group, and you received from the Federation for Fair Immigration Reform an award known as the Franklin Society Award. Uh, the founder of that group has said, quote, I've come to the point of view that for European American society and culture to persist, requires a European-American majority and a clear one at that. He said also, quote, too much diversity leads to divisiveness and conflict. The founder, John Tanton, also, through his political action committee, committed it, contributed twice to your campaigns in 2008 and 2014, $1,000 in each donation. Uh, will you denounce those statements and disavow that award and that support from that organization. I don't accept that statement. I believe the United States uh, should have an immigration policy that's fair and objective and gives people from all over the world the right to apply. And those who uh, have should give preference to people who uh, have the ability to be prosperous and succeed in America and can improve their lives and improve the United States of America. And, that's sort of my view of it. I do not accept uh, that uh, uh, kind of language. Will you return not the award? Con be contrary to my understanding of the American uh, uh, vision of life. Will you return the award? Well, I don't know that I have to. I don't know who, whether he had any involvement in, you know, choosing the award or not. And uh, presumably, the award and the contributions that I did not even know 
I don't recall ever knowing I got or, or his decision, not mine. This, this award similarly was left out of your response to the questionnaire. And I guess the question, Senator Session, is how can Americans have confidence that you're going to enforce anti-discrimination laws if you've accepted awards from these kinds of groups and associated with these kinds of individuals and you won't return the awards? Well, first of all, I, I don't know that I defer to the Southern Poverty Law uh, Center as uh, their final authority on who's a radical group. Uh, so I would first challenge that. Uh, they, they acknowledge publicly and have in, in the last few weeks that I was a strong uh, a sister uh, to them in prosecuting the Klan. Uh, but they said they opposed me because their views on immigration. Well, I believe my views on immigration are correct, just, decent, and right. Somebody else can disagree, but that's what I think. Would I you also disavow support from Frank Gaffney at the Center for Security Policy, who gave you an award in August of 2015, uh, similarly having made statements about Muslims and uh, supporting your candidacy for Attorney General? Well, they chose to give me the award. They didn't tell me what they gave it to me for, and I don't adopt everything that that center would, would support. I don't suppose. I'm pretty independent about those things. But I you would can, acknowledge you can understand. that Ronald Reagan, Dick Cheney, Joe Lieberman also have received that award from that institution. Well, he hasn't been nominated to be Attorney General. Well, he has not. And he ran for Vice President on your party. And the people of the United States might be forgiven for concluding that the uh, kinds of attitudes and the zealousness or lack of it that you bring to enforcement of anti-discrimination laws might be reflected in your acceptance of wards from these organizations, your association with these kinds of individuals. So I'm giving you the opportunity to yeah. completely repudiate and return those awards. Uh, Senator Blumenthal, um, I just feel like the reason I was pushing back is because I don't feel like it's right to judge me and require that I give back an award if I don't agree with every policy of an organization that gave the award. I was honored to be given awards. A lot of prominent people, I'm sure, have received awards at, at either one of these groups. Uh, and David Horowitz is a brilliant writer, and I think has contributed to the policy debate. Whether he's, everything he said, uh, I'm sure I don't agree with. Uh, the, some of the language that you indicated does not, uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable with, and I think you're, it's all right to ask that question, but I just would believe it would be more than pro it wouldn't be proper for you to insist that I'm somehow disqualified for Attorney General because I accepted an award from that group. Given that you did not disclose a number of those awards, are there any other awards from groups that have similar kinds of ideological uh, negative views of immigrants or of African Americans or Muslims or others? including awards that you may have received from the Ku Klux Klan? Well, I won't receive it from Henry Hayes, I'll tell you that. He no longer exists. So well, no, I, I wouldn't I take a Klan award from the Klan. So I would just say uh, that uh, I received hundreds of awards. I don't think uh, I'm probably sh somehow should have made sure that the uh, Annie Johnson jumping off the Niagara Falls, I should have reported that, yeah, probably. But w so I would just say to you, uh, I have no motive in denying or that I received those awards. It's probably publicly published when it happened, and I've received hundreds, hun multiple hundreds of awards over my careers, I'm sure you have. My time has expired, Mr. Chairman. I apologize, and I, I'll return on the third round. Thank you. I, I don't find any fault with the questions you're asking, except for this.
business that somebody that's in the United States Senate ought to remember what awards we get. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'll bet every other week somebody's coming into my office to give me some award. And you take these plaques or whatever they give you, and you don't even have a place to hang them. You store them someplace. I don't know whether even if I went down to that storage place and I could tell you all the awards I got. I, I don't need any more awards. It's kind of a problem that they give you the awards. And obviously, I'll bet Senator Sessions feels that way right now. I, I don't differ with you, Mr. Chairman. I don't differ with you that sitting here, none of us on this side of the table could probably recall every single award we've ever received. But the questionnaire from this committee asked for the information as to all awards, and I think it's fair to observe that yeah. a number of these awards were omitted from the responses. Okay, well, if somebody asked me to fill out that same questionnaire, it'd never be complete, and I don't know how you ever could make it complete. Uh, before I go to you, um, I